Hello viewers, in this video, we'll discuss the syntax, flowchart and example of for loop. For loop, the for loop is most commonly used due to its flexibility. It is also known as counter controlled loop. Let's see the syntax of for loop. It starts with the keyword for, then inside parenthesis, three types of information is provided. Part one is initialization, initialization of a variable. The second part is condition and the third part is increment or decrement. And these three parts are separated by semicolons. This is part one, part two and part three. After that, we write the body of loop and the body of loop may contain single statement or multiple statements. Let's understand for loop with the help of an example. It starts with the for keyword, then inside parenthesis, this is starting parenthesis and it's closing parenthesis. So inside these parenthesis, three types of information is written. This is part one separated by semicolon. Then comes the second part separated by semicolon and the final part, the third part. The variable that we initialize in this step is called control variable. As this variable controls the loop, it controls the execution of for loop. That's why it is called control variable. And this is the control variable's name counter. And the data type of this control variable counter is int, integer. Int counter is equal to one. This is the initialized values, the starting value of control variable. Part one ends here. At the end of part one, we write a separator, semicolon. Semicolon is a separator. Then comes the second part, which is condition. Based on this condition, the body of for loop is executed. If this condition is true, then the body of for loop will be executed. And if the condition is false, the body will not execute and the loop will terminate. This condition will be evaluated before entering into the body of for loop. The second part is also terminated with semicolon, the separator or the terminator. Then comes the third part. The control variable is incremented or decremented in this section. Let's see the flow of execution. This is the starting point of for loop. I've initialized the count variable with one. Then the condition being tested is count is less than equal to 10 and count plus plus. And this is the body of for loop and body contains only one printf statement. As the body contains only one statement, so you can skip curly braces. It's your choice. If you want to write curly braces, then put them. Otherwise, you can skip as well. This is because the statement immediately followed by for loop is considered to be the body of for loop. But when you have to write multiple statements inside the for loop, then you cannot skip these curly braces. Let's see the flow of execution. From this point, control will enter into the for loop and count variable will be initialized by one. And remember one thing, the initialization part is executed only once when control first time enters into the for loop, but it is skipped in the following iterations. After initialization, the control will move to the second part, the condition part and condition will be tested. As the value of count variable is one, let's put the value of count variable here, one and one is less than equal to 10 as the condition is true. So the control will enter into the body of for loop. And remember, the control will enter into the body of for loop only when the condition being tested here is true. Otherwise, the for loop will terminate. Inside the body, there is one printf statement and it is printing the value of count on output screen. So it will print one on the output screen. It was step one. This is step two. In third step, when the loop of body will be executed, the control will move to the 
increment or decrement part this is the third step the value of count variable will be increased by 1 as the value is 1 right now and after adding 1 into it the count variable will become equal to 2 the first iteration of for loop is completed here this is the first iteration of for loop at the end of first iteration the value of count variable is equal to 2 now the second iteration will start here the control will move to the testing condition again as the value of count variable is 2 now so 2 is less than equal to 10 the condition is again true so the flow will move inside the body of for loop and body of for loop will print the value of count variable on screen which is 2 2 will be printed on output screen and the control will again move to the increment or decrement section the value of count which is 2 will be incremented by 1 and it will become equal to 3 the second iteration is finished here this is the second iteration and this is the value printed during the second iteration of for loop now the third iteration will start the control will again move to the second condition as the value of count is 3 and 3 is less than or equal to 10 condition is again true the control will enter into the body of for loop and it will print 3 on the output screen after that the control will again move to the increment or decrement operator and it will increase the value of count variable by 1 that will be equal to 4 and again control will move to the condition section 4 is less than equal to 10 condition is true again printf statement will be executed and it will print 4 on the output screen and the control will again move to the increment section and 4 will be increased to 5 5 is less than equal to 10 so it will print 5 on the output screen then in the sixth iteration it will print 6 on the output screen then 7 8 9 and 10 at the 10th iteration value of count variable was 10 which was printed on the output screen and after that the control will again move to the increment section and the value of count variable will be increased by 1 equal to 11 and it will be the start of 11th iteration but when condition will be tested less than equal to 10 the condition is false now as the condition is false now the control will not enter into the body of for loop and the loop will terminate it is the output of for loop digits from 1 to 10 this is how the for loop works let's see the flow chart of for loop the loop starts with initializing the control variable after initializing the counter variable the condition is tested if condition is true the body of loop which may contain a single statement or multiple statements is executed after executing the body of for loop control moves to the increment or decrement part and then condition is again tested this flow is continued unless or until the condition is true but if the condition is false the loop is terminated an important question that is asked in exam is which part of the for loop is mandatory and which can be skipped or which is optional the answer is initialization part and increment or decrement part can be omitted but the condition section is mandatory and the reason is we can initialize count variable outside the for loop for example count is equal to 1 integer count is equal to 1 it can be written outside the for loop and what about the increment or decrement section we can increase or decrease the count variable inside the body of for loop like this count plus plus or count minus minus but there is no other way to write the condition section so the condition section is mandatory to write inside the for statement 
but the initialization and increment or decrement part can be written outside the for statement let's see some more facts about the for loop inside the initialization section one or more variables are initialized if we are initializing more than one variables then they are separated with comma for example in this for statement there are two variables initialized in the first section a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 8 you can initialize more than two variables but they must be separated by comma in the condition section relational conditions are tested and if the condition is true the body of loop will execute but if the condition is false the body of loop will not execute increment or decrement section the loop control variable or the counter variable is incremented or decremented after each iteration one iteration means one execution of for loop multiple variables can be incremented or decremented in the third section but they must be separated by comma it was all about the for loop syntax for writing for loop in c language and c++ language is same thank you for watching for more computer science lectures for ics part 1 and part 2 and other informative videos subscribe to my channel